Hello again there my quick mission Merryweathers. Welcome back to my quick mission tips videos. We're on mission 109 here. And uh, this mission is pretty fun. Uh, it's pretty difficult though too I would say. Um, your biggest threats on this mission are going to be D-Roys and there's also cosmonauts uh, with lasers and also frogs with shotguns. And then last of all there's dropships. Uh, there's one dropship that has wasps and one dropship that has golds. So at least on the higher difficulties. So those are probably going to be your highest threats. So you're going to need weapons that address those issues. So let's go with Ranger here. So as far as Ranger goes, Ranger is very difficult here, I would imagine. Um, he, um, I would say if you have someone that can take care of the D-Roy's legs or the D-Roy's themselves, then I would recommend taking your best shotgun and a healing bomb and then your uh, super sprint. So 67 or there's also a lower level version, uh, 42. But the reason I like this is because you don't get slowed down. It's the fastest sprint in the game, non-DLC, and uh, this is going to be helpful to get to the to the dropships you need to kill them quickly, and to also just to survive at the end because the last wave is very tough. Um, as far as if you don't have someone to take care of the D-Roys, and you but you have someone that's in the front lines for you, then I would recommend taking um, your best Emerald missile launcher, and then a missile item, and then a healing bomb probably. To, uh, to help protect yourself because you pretty much stay in the corner then which I'll show you which corner and you can just help out through um, killing enemies for the other teams that are up front lines so that would be my second suggestion. Um, as far as Wing Diver goes I think she's very good here. Um, I would recommend taking the Mirage 15 WR it works on Hardest or on Inferno. Um, the reason I like the Mirage uh, over the Geist is the Geist will have problems hitting drones which will hit you uh, as well, and you won't be able to hit the legs of the D-Roys. The reason I like the Mirage is because it's for, mainly for the D-Roys legs. It's very good on them. Um, so that's good for the D-Roys, and it's also good for the Tadpoles as well. And then I would take a Lance. I like I like Lance over over um, Rapier or Phalanx because it has more range, and um, it's good for killing the dropships and also enemies from further distance. And it's very cheap, of course, too. So I'd recommend that with those two weapons. And then if you have a core that can make you shoot a little bit faster, like 50%, for example, 83, I would recommend taking that just to help out your Mirage a little bit. But you don't necessarily need it. You could also take a Jet Core just to be more survivable. Um, um, and then as far as uh, Air Raider goes, um, I like the uh, Phobos here. Imagine that. Um, this thing is pretty good for the clusters of enemies during different parts of the different parts of the mission. Um, then I recommend for your second weapon, a 150. This is good on D-Roys, and it's also good on Cosmonauts. Very good. And um, last of all, I'd recommend uh, Zexar guns, or some kind of stationary turrets, um, which will help out with enemies that come near you um, when you're trying to defend yourself. And then for vehicle, I'd recommend a fast-moving vehicle, so I'd recommend a Nyx. Um, the Red Guard is, is probably the fastest um, as far as non-DLC and uh, I'd probably recommend that one, honestly. And once again, this, this, th these strategies are mainly for people with lower health, that you don't have 70% of the lock to have limits off, and also you're not using DLC weapons. So this is just for, um, just, just for that uh, kind of, those kind of people that are looking for strategies. And then as far as Fencer goes, last of all, I'd re recommend a good, uh, a good uh, dash jump setup. So, I, I mean, I would recommend probably Spine Driver Shotgun over the Jackhammer because the Spine Driver will give you a little bit more range for the drones and stuff like that. It's good for that and also for the ship to kill a little bit um, further away. And then High Altitude Missiles. This will be for your, um, for your uh, D-Roys. Uh, like I said, um, as far as, in my opinion, the best way to kill D-Roys is always kill their legs. Don't go for killing them uh, because it's just... A lot safer, you get more item drops, and uh, it's usually quicker because chances are it's going to be tough to kill the D-Roy itself. Whereas if you kill the legs quickly, then you don't have to worry about the D-Roys are no threat really, to be honest with you. So that's why I rec personally recommend. Now let's go ahead and go into the mission and talk about um, how the mission uh, how the mission runs. Alright, we're in the mission now. As always, I'm going to play this on a lower difficulty with limits off so that I can actually show this mission relatively quickly for you guys. But uh, like I said, these were, these strategies have been tested online limits on Inferno many times. So, right at the beginning here, nothing sees you, which is nice. And um, the thing, however, the thing is if you attack any enemy on this map, everything will see you all of a sudden. So there's really no way to pull this slowly. So you have some threats. You have some shotgun frogs on the on the, on the uh, left side there, and I think there's one on the right side as well. So what I like to do is, when you're spawned in, the place you're looking at is the direction you're going to want to camp at, over here in this corner. Um, some, some, uh, some things you can look for um, 
to, to know where you're at is like look for the fountain that's the right corner the right side of the maps where you want to be it's also opposite of the uh, train tracks there's also some train tracks on the side that you don't want to be on so just those are some landmarks for you but um, I'd recommend um, just rushing uh, rushing one of the shotgun frogs if you're a faster class um, if you have two people you could do you know do that on both sides but those are probably gonna be your biggest threats here but as you see so as soon as I shoot that frog everything sees us now even those on the other side of the map too so but anyway so if you're an aerator um, I would recommend um, just going towards the safe corner which is this way with the fountain um, just get as far as you can and then throw your phobos before the enemy see you and then just have your uh, rest of your team try and help you get to this corner over here um, back here in this corner that's gonna be your safest spot same with ranger as well if you're taking the missile item I try to recommend get to this corner but um but yeah, then once once you get the the slower classes to the corner, then you can go and and uh, move forward and try and help out with killing these enemies. So the next phase doesn't happen until you kill enough enemies. So I'd recommend making sure you kill all the uh, all the uh, colonists first and the spiders, and then. That way you can leave some drones, leave some spiders left to where you can make sure your airboat's ready before you go to the next phase because like I said it is kill based. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start killing some enemies here. And we're gonna get we're gonna go to this corner here because the reason we want to be on this side of the map is because the D-Roys are gonna be spawning on the other side of the map. So we definitely want to make sure we're on this side of the map, away from all that threat. So I'm gonna go ahead and kill these enemies, and then usually like as you can see, I've killed about I don't know, 75% of them. That's when the next phase comes in. Now you're gonna have D-Roys that drop in, you're going to have drones, and you're also going to have tadpoles that come behind you. So the only threat you're going to have back here, if, if you're in the corner, is that the tadpoles are going to come to you. That's the negative of being back here. But they're not too many. There's no purple ones, so it's not a huge deal. So the people that can focus on the D-Roys' legs, I'd recommend um, them going forward and trying to get the legs out quickly as possible. And you can leave the D-Roys. I, I, would, I would suggest leaving the D-Roys, honestly, because you don't want to push the next phase. The next phase is the last phase, which is very hard fit, hard part of the phase. So I'm just going to take out the legs, and you can then leave the D-Roys with no legs, and they're really no threat. And that way you can get all ready for the last phase. So, you know, you, you can, you know, if you have a air raider, you can throw your Zexar guns back there, or just have the Ranger with the missile launcher, or whoever's in the back helping out, just to take out those tadpoles, and then they can help out with the D-Roys legs as well. Uh, there is a rocket d -Roy, unfortunately, on the left side, but, um, there's only one, so it's not too bad. Alright, so now, if possible, I would recommend trying to kill all the tadpoles that were behind you, and then all the Deroy's legs, and, you know, any straggler spiders that are left, and any small drones, but I would try and leave all these big drones alive, if possible, because you don't want to kill uh, the majority of these big drones, because if you do, that'll be enough enough kills on this map to where the next phase will come in because you don't want to you don't want to have the next phase come until everyone's ready so now um, I'm in this I'm in the safe corner here this is the uh, fountain side let me go ahead and uh, show a little landmark here so there's a fountain right there and this so this is the edge of the map here look so if you're looking right at spawn you're looking straight ahead this is this is the edge of the map here looking straight ahead so looking from this side um, this ship right here is gonna spawn in um, gold ants if you're playing on uh, Inferno. I'm not sure about Hardest too, but there's going to be gold ants here. There's going to be wasps on the left one, which is nearby here. And then there's going to be rolly balls in the back here. And then there's going to be silver spiders in the back in the back right. Um, so the, the thing that will change is, of course, that the silvers will turn to browns and the golds will turn to grays if you're uh, playing on lower difficulties. But other than that, the biggest threat you want to make sure to kill and be ready to kill is the uh, wash ship right here and the gold ants right there. So, if you're a wing diver, um, I would recommend flying on this little platform. Um, the negative thing of this phase is when you when when the ships open, they start moving downward while they're opening. So it's kind of tough sometimes to actually kill the ships quickly because of their movement. So if you're up here, you can um, just you can be really close to the ship when it opens, and you can kill it quickly as possible uh, because you want to get out of this area. Unfortunately, the two ships you want to kill, the um, the wash ship and the uh, gold ship, they're also going to be dropping cosmonauts, laser cosmonauts, one on this side and then a group on this side. So that's the negative. You want to make sure to kill this ship and go to the to the to the other side of the map with the railroad tracks as fast as possible. Um, so 
If you're an um, air raider, of course, you should have a vehicle by now. Then you can, of course, get underneath the ship and kill one of the ships quickly with your um, Nyx and then jump to the other side of the map. Um, you know, with, with Ranger, you can always run to the other side of the map. Um, but I would definitely recommend getting away from this side of the map once once you kill these two ships um, and because of these cosmonauts. So once everybody's ready, then you can go ahead and kill these um, these D-Roys. So I'm going to go ahead and kill these D-Roys. And then as long as you have the majority of the drones alive, usually the phase is not going to happen anyway until you kill the majority of those big drones. But uh, let me go ahead and kill these. Okay. So yeah, there's still there's still enough enemies on the map to where the next phase hasn't come. So everybody sets up on the ship. If you have four people, of course, try and kill all four ships as fast as possible. Um, an alternative, however, is you can use one of these ships and you can stay on top of it if you're a wing diver or a fencer and you'll be safe as long as you kill the wasp ship. So um, that's also an alternative. You can leave one up. So let me go ahead and fly on top of this platform since I'm a wing diver. And uh, we'll go ahead and kill some of these drones. And as you see, and once you kill enough of these drones, the uh, next phase is going to come in. Okay, there you go. As you can see, as the ships open, they lower down slowly, so they're kind of hard to kill that way. So I'd recommend, like I said, killing this ship first. They have low health, so it's not too bad to kill these ships, honestly. Um, even with uh, lower damage weapons, it's not too bad. Let me go ahead and kill this really quickly. And then, as you can see, there's cosmonauts that dropped next to this wasp ship and next to the to the ant ship. So these things are very brutal. So that's why you want to kill that ship as fast as possible and get out of there. So um, you also have uh, some big guys as well. You have some rocket guys, some machine gun guys, some shotgun guys. It's just very brutal. So um, you definitely want to kill those ships and then move on to the other side. And like I said, you can always, since these ships are low to the ground, um, once you uh, once they open up, you can actually stay on top of the ship as a, like, a safety place. So say I need some uh, some help for a little bit to just regain some uh, some energy or whatever as fencer or as uh, even as even as air raider. If you have a Nyx, you can jump up here as well and just be safe. And then you can uh, get all the cosmonauts underneath the ship, and then you can always have someone else kill them from further away or you know whoever's whoever they're watching. But this is also also an alternative, but. Uh, um, the rollerball ship is also pretty bad, I would say. Like, if you're playing on lower difficulties, you don't have any golds or silvers, and I would recommend killing the wash ship and the rollerball ship. Those are probably the two biggest threats. But, um... But let me go ahead and kill these ships here, and, uh... Really, killing these ships isn't the hardest part. It's it's the cosmonauts and the rollerball that are knocking you down. And, of course, any wasps that are chasing you really makes this, this mission very tough. Uh, especially at the end. Usually people die in the last wave because of just all these cosmonauts usually. So I can always, you know, stay up here on top of the ship and, and if you have a weapon that shoots through ships, you can actually uh, sh kill the cosmonauts from on top of the ship or you can always take a rocket launcher as a wing diver and fly out over the top, shoot down and then fly back on top, get your energy back, shoot again like the, the level 55, the 22,000 one, you can always do that. But you can always use a ship for safety, so Definitely, uh, I would definitely recommend keeping probably one ship up. And if I had to choose, it'd probably be the Silver Spider ship, which would be this one right here where I'm at. There's also two vehicles. There's a uh, Nyx over here. It has missile launchers and two flames. And there's also um, two motorcycles out here um, that you could drive um, with certain classes. Not with Wing Diver, but uh, or Fencer, but Wing Air Raider and uh, Ranger can drive those. So that's also an alternative if you're not fast or something. You can always try and take the motorcycle. But yeah, you can take your you can kind of take your time. You can kind of outrun these guys if you just circle around the outside of the map if you need to. Like as Ranger with the 200%, you can you can outrun these guys because the 200% uh, item level 67, you won't get slowed down when you're getting hit. So that's why I like it so much. And you have healing bomb to heal yourself. So if you're a Ranger, I would recommend um, going for the rollerball ship. Uh, that, that that would be your priority besides the wash ship because those can knock you down and then you can't recover to sprint again. So like I said, um, if you're looking, at, if you're on the safe side of the map looking out here, the rollerball ship will be the front left one. And then the, the silver spider one, gold ant one, and then wasp one nearby here. But that's pretty much it. You can always uh, just kite these guys around and kill them when you have, um, have a chance. But uh, if you have a, a fast class, you know, maybe they'll, have, they'll be chasing the fast class. And if you're a person that's, you know, like a ranger with missile launcher, you can always stay in a corner, really far corner. And you could just bring down missiles from far away. 
and just survive a little bit that way and help out the team. But uh, there's different there's different setups, of course, for this mission. But as long as you know what triggers the next phases, that's the biggest biggest thing here, and that's more important. So you can kind of heal up and get ready for the last phase. So. So yeah, that's pretty much all for this mission. So like I said, as always, um, if you have any uh, tips yourself, uh, please leave them in the comments and share your uh, your favorite tactics and weapons. But uh, yeah, this is my favorite. So uh, once again, thanks a lot for watching. And remember, EF doesn't leave a man behind, ever. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. It does, uh, it does make a big difference. And also, if you're interested in helping uh, the channel financially, there's uh, the join button, next subscribe button, there's three different tiers. Or watching if the ads help financially as well. I very much appreciate it. Hope to see you next time.